I mean, you already got you got some rematches from last week. You see their clutch TSM. They just played last week. Apollo stole like Baron's dragons <laughs> left, right, and center on Ezreal. Even weird, stole a red buff. Even He's stole, stealing everything. Stealing everything. It's a weird turnaround that they're playing back to back so quickly. Uh, you also got Team Liquid CLG Liquid. Both that's 04 last week between Oof. those two squads. So see who can bounce back <laughs> from a tough week. TSM C9. I mean, that's the old rivalry that everyone. Love seeing the two most championships in NA. I guess C9's tied with, tied with CLG. The Svenskeren vengeance That's match. very true. That's the revenge tour continues. I mean, a lot of people have gotten their vengeance on TSM. Pretty much Wild everybody Turtle, but Biofrost. Yeah, everyone but Bio. And then the battle for first place uh, on the Sunday, Echo Fox and Cloud9. If it's anything like their first matchup, cool. that's going to be a spicy one. That's a must-watch match. That's definitely one you don't want to miss. Absolutely. Uh, let's start with that C9 TSM matchup because, I mean, again, these guys have played in countless finals. These guys have played in so many marquee matchups in the regular season. But right now, Cloud9 looks like a much better squad. They're just they're firing on all cylinders. Licorice is way overperforming what people were expecting. Oh no, Cloud9 lost the offseason. No contracts. <laughs> Impact's gone. Wow, maybe this is the end of the C9 era. Maybe every team needs to lose the offseason if this is how you're going to perform afterwards. Cloud9, absolutely the cream of the crop in NA so far. They've just looked better than every other team. You know, Echo Fox has the same record at seven and one, and yes, Echo Fox has looked dominating in most of their victories as well, but there's just something about the way that Cloud9 has performed that just is the absolute best that we've seen so far this split. And I think that heading into their matchup against TSM, it's gonna be extremely interesting because of this idea that you have Svenskir and you know, this vengeance type of matchup, Think back to the times that C9 has lost to TSM in the finals of the of the splits. And who's the jungler for TSM most recently for that? Those are all Sven Skarin. So it's definitely gonna see, uh, gonna be exciting to see him on the other side of it now in this in this storied rivalry. And I'm excited to watch this one. And I think that it's going to be Cloud9 continuing their winning trends. TSM, yes, they are looking a lot better, picking up a very decisive and controlling win over CLG last weekend, but that was on the backs of a horrible loss to Clutch Gaming where they had such a great start and just the worst neutral objective control leading to them losing the game later. I expect better from TSM, but I don't think you're gonna see it in this matchup against C9. I think it's too strong for them to take down. I mean, this would be a statement game and it would be very TSM for them to have a super dominant win over a top team in Cloud9, just for people to be like, oh crap, TSM's <laughs> actually gonna be a solid team. But yeah, I, I'm hard pressed to see them doing that. I still think TSM needs some time to kind of figure out what's going on there. And Sven Skaren has not been shy about saying how much he likes the atmosphere of Cloud9 more than TSM. I know that's his current team. Of course, he's gonna talk them up, but I mean, he's talked about the coaching staff, how players deal with um, you know, mistakes in game. There's less egos on Cloud9. Some, some pretty heavy shots oh, towards yeah. TSM in terms of egos and just the coaching staff as a whole. And a definitely one other important factor into this matchup that I think we should be considering is definitely the bot lane. When you look at TSMs with Sven and Miffy, a lot of hype brought in on them, best in the West, and they come in, and their performance has been good, it just has not been great yet. And that's something that you would expect and can demand from a duo like Sven and Mithy and what they've accomplished. But who has been great already? Sneaky and Smoothie have definitely been what I think is the best bot lane so far to start the spring split. And I think that they're going to continue that into their matchup, and it's definitely going to be one that all eyes should be on this one, because this is going to be hype. Definitely going to be hype. Uh, TSM's other matchup of the week, they're taking on Clutch Gaming, much like they did in week four, as we've already alluded to with this debacle of a level one <laughs> that uh, Clutch somehow recovers from, thanks again, in part to Apollo stealing every objective on the map. But really, 
obviously TSM should have won that game. Oh, yeah. this, if if this, they secure some smites, it's a pretty routine win. Yeah, this level one happens in any of your solo queue games. This is where you immediately type into chat FF at 15. There's, this, a, there's a lot of over. question mark things going on. Yeah, it, this is over. I don't know why you ever think you can go back there. There's no way to get back in the lane other than that way for Sven and Mithy. And they're always going to have their jungler support there. And then later goes off to the blue buff where Lyra is, you know, AFK farming and gets taken out on his Skarner. Not good performances, but you know who did have it? Apollo. Apollo was fantastic for clutch gaming, and a large reason of it was because TSM had such poor control around these neutral objectives, and they were neutral objectives that were important enough to keep clutch gaming into it. Now, when you look at a lot of these team fights that were going on for TSM, they were clearly the better team, in my opinion, on how they performed and how they can play. Now, if they are able to keep everything in mind and are able to control the maps, neutral objectives well, and still play the game that I know that TSM should be able to, they should pick up this win against Clutch Gaming. But this is definitely an important week for Clutch Gaming as they need to be picking, continuing to pick up these wins, and especially against top teams like TSM, it really helps their case for making a playoff push. Yeah, a couple of 500 uh, teams in this one, but I'm just interested to see how this game plays out without a massive advantage like that at right. level one. I mean, Clutch was playing from behind for the first like 30 minutes of the game, even with Apollo stealing uh, a couple objectives. And really, outside of those steals, I actually don't think Apollo had that great of a game for Clutch. It was just those Q snipes right. and true shot barrages. In terms of team fights, I don't think he was that great. I think a lot of that's just due to Ezreal. I still don't yeah. like that pick going forward. He's just, he's underwhelming in pretty much any game that I watch, but I mean, yeah, we're getting rematches now, and that means we've got established storylines. I think TSM is going to be a little pissed off after their last loss to Clutch, and I think they're going to rebound with a pretty dominant performance uh, in this one. Well, you know, it's definitely one thing to also keep an eye on for sure is going to be Mike Young's performance. You know, was not the best, very poor control with the smites and neutral objectives in their first matchup against Clutch, and how much of that is gonna be in the back of his mind, right? I know when I'm you know, playing as a jungler and if I've screwed up a smite or two in the early part of the game, I know that I'm thinking about that as I'm heading into Baron, you know, at 30 minutes, something like that. I'm thinking, I've already messed up. I, I don't wanna do it again. And then let alone having done that and costing your team a match already is something totally different. I expect Mike Young to be a professional, bounce back, get it out of his head, take it on into a new game, but you never know how the performance might work out after something like that. I mean, I hope for his sake that something like that isn't going to get into his head because, I mean, this is only the regular season and the spring split. Yeah. If it's getting to you mentally at this point, for a team like TSM that has international aspirations, you're going to be in trouble. That's for certain. trouble. Uh, the big match of the week has got to be that Cloud9, Echo Fox, two 7-1 squads. The last time they played, they were fighting for first place, and it was a spicy one. Uh, I... I feel like I've got to slightly favor Cloud9 in this one just because of how they've performed recently. Yeah, Echo Fox also has looked solid, but I mean, Cloud9 has shown more so than in recent years when it was just the Jensen show. They can win from advantages in every single lane. Now, see, for me, it's all going to come down to one decision. Does Cloud9 ban out Dardox Zack? That is what I think is going to be absolutely be key. If Blob Squad is in this game, GG Echo Fox takes the win. But if Blob Squad is banned out, I think that Cloud9 is definitely going to have more than enough to get it done. When I mention the Zack, it's because it's just been so absolutely key in so many of the victories for Echo Fox. The Zack has played out everything that they've needed it to be. So I think that if you get rid of that for Cloud9, well, Impact, uh, sorry, excuse me, Licorice has shown before that he can absolutely handle Huni in the top lane, which is maybe your scariest matchup in that game. And then what? Then you have Phoenix and Jensen in the mid lane, which you have to give Jensen the advantage for. And then in the bot lane, which yes, Altec and Adrian haven't looked like they've been outclassed by anybody, we're going up against the bot lane that I think has performed the best so far this split in Smoothie and Sneaky. So I absolutely will give the advantage to C9, but they are definitely going up against a team that can take them down if they have Zach. That's the key for Echo Fox. Yeah, definitely something to look at in the draft phase. Uh, draft phase. I mean, that bottom lane, you can probably cancel each other out. They're both some of the top tier bot lanes in 
that squad. Uh, if you're looking in that pick ban though, another champion that for Echo Fox you should probably ban out or be picking up is Smoothie's Alistair. He has been lights out on that champion. Uh, I mean his roams in the jungle, in the top lane, in the mid lane, across the entire map. He just looks so clean on the cow. Yeah, it's absolutely something that he's allowed Sneaky to perform even better in the laning phase and then out of that laning phase Smoothie has definitely been arguably the best uh, support at impacting the game and finding ways to set up and support his other laners as well. Yeah, well, lots of interesting matches in NA and EU because now we're finally starting the rematches so teams oh, yeah. can get vengeance and then teams can prove if it was kind of a one-off win. But either way, these standings in both NA and EU are going to be shaken up a bit this week with a lot of the top teams playing each other. Definitely exciting things. And again, as you said, this is it. We're starting to see some of these rematches finally. People have been talking about best of ones. Best of ones are exciting, but one of the things that is the downside is that you don't get to see how teams adjust and the strategy that goes in after that point. Now we will start to see that. And I think that this will bring a new dimension to the games that I'm excited for. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.